Hey guys, I'm back with another video. Sorry about the long delay, but a sister is back. Hello. Today, I'm gonna be making jollof rice. It's um a Nigerian slash African slash traditional rice. So I am gonna be making Kicking It With J Styles rendition of jollof rice. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you guys how I do it my way, Jay's way. So. Here, my, here are my ingredients. I have the chicken stock that I made uh, boiling in the pot, getting ready for this rice. I have a red pepper. I have green onion, which is scallions. I have a bay leaf. I have garlic. I have a fresh white onion. I have tomato paste. I have tomato sauce. I have Paul boiled rice. I still have to wash the rice because you must wash the rice. I have some chicken um, bouillon seasoning, a little bit of salt just in case. I have um, some Wesson cooking oil, and then I have my chopper. It just because I have to puree the green onion. I'm going to puree the green onion, the green onion, the scotch bonnet pepper, the garlic, and the red pepper. And I'll get right back to you. All right, guys. So I have everything chopped up. I chopped up the... Red onion, the, I didn't chop the garlic. I'll put that in the blender hole. Also, um, wait, let me do one thing first. I chopped up the red pepper, the green pepper, the scallions. I didn't chop up the scotch bonnet because I'm going to put that in whole. The bay leaf you put inside the rice and I chopped up the onions. Also, I washed the rice. You have to use Paul Boro rice because the Paul Boro rice, it, um, it's not as soft as the jasmine rice. This is my second time trying this. The first time I kind of messed it up a little. It turned out to look like Spanish rice because it was too, the rice was too soft. So what I'm gonna do, guys, I'm gonna do um, I'm gonna take the things, the items that I chopped up. I'm gonna put it inside the chopper, and we are gonna get busy. Chop this up. Hopefully it turns out right. I'm praying that it turns out right because I really. You know, um, one of my coworkers had brought some rice in and it was so good. I wanted to try it myself because I don't want to keep asking them to make it, you know, so people act funny. So I'll do it myself, learn it myself, and do it myself. So I'm just chopping this up. I'm gonna get it to a puree consistency. I put it on puree. I had it on top. Cause I always use this when I chop it up. So basically you want to puree it. Let me see. Let me get a little spoon. Right, we want to puree this this good all this goodness up. It smells so good. Oh my god, that pepper, that um pepper is going to have you like woo. This should be good. Yeah, that looks good. So, take this all. So, this is what it looks uh, pureed. All right. All right. So, I cleaned up my mess. So, now I, I preheat the pan. I'm going to pour some of the vegetable oil, vegetable oil inside the pan. And then, um, we're going to go from there. You want to let the vegetable oil get hot. And then we'll add the tomato paste inside of the pan. I think that's enough. We can always add more. That's the good thing about it is you add little by little and then you can always add more eventually. If you need more. Never put too much. Always put a little bit at a time. How you do it, baby? So I'm just gonna wait for this to get hot. I have already opened up, I have already washed my can and um, opened up my can of tomato paste. And also, you guys, what I did was I took um I took my tomato paste, uh, not tomato paste, I took my tomato sauce and I mixed it with what is it? My tomato sauce, my um my green onion my garlic, 
and my um, peppers and things like that. And I put it inside the broth. Let me show you. I put it inside the broth. I just did it this way because I figured it would be easier because it's already mixed together. So by the time it's time for me to mix all of it in the pot, it's already mixed up and it's warm. Because this chicken, um, chicken stock is uh, nice and warm. I turned it off so it wouldn't be hot. So let's see. This should be hot because I left the pan. Alright, yep, that's what we do. You take this tomato paste and take this. Woo! Look at that. Popcorn. Oh, that's all I got no dirt on my face. Oh, Lord, I got too close to the top. Oh, man. Okay. This should be enough. So, you want to take this and you want to put this inside the pan. Can you put this in? I do, too. So we go put the medicine inside the grease. I'm only following directions. I don't know why they do it like this, but I'm following directions. This is what I told someone was told me how to do it. So I'm gonna follow directions. Mm. Ooh, these jokes are hot. <laughs> All right. Splashed on me, child. I'm gonna keep my pins. Oh, that grease splash right in my face. Oh no, I wasn't ready for that. Honey. So what you do is you need to mix all of this around the tomato paste. Mix it around. Let's see what I'm doing. Mix everything around. Tired herbs and stuff. I was about to say, am I burning the uh, tomato paste? Because I see the little pieces. I didn't know it was herbs. You see that? You say Italian herbs. I was trying to figure out. I might have got the wrong tomato paste, but that's all right. Herbs is good. So, let that cook, 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 cook in the kitchen. That's it. Let that, leave it go for a few minutes. I don't think I need to add more because um, it's just me and my daughter. I don't need. I'm just trying to make it simple. It's not a big party pot, you know? So I'm going to let that cook and simmer and simmer and cook and simmer and cook and simmer and simmer. So I don't know if you're supposed to measure the rice, but. I mean, measure the uh, liquid, but I want to measure the liquid. So I have approximately uh, two cups of rice. So, you know, when you're making rice, it's two cups to one cup of rice. So I don't know exactly how much is in here. So I'm going to take and I'm going to pour. Hopefully it's four cups. There's one cup. I think I might have four cups. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add... Wait, I, am I forgetting a step? Oh, you add the onions. Yep, I almost forgot. Yep. Almost forgot. Alright, so you add the onions to the pan. While that's cooking. Add the onions to the pan. And then, you want to stir these bad boys around while they're cooking in the pan with the tomato paste. Ooh, that look good. I hope it tastes good, as good as it looks. <laughs> you want to stir it up. Now, I heard a lot of people say the more onions, the better. I had to use my last onion, and this, this onion was turning into a plant, honey. I have to go to the market and get some more onions. This was the last of the Mohicans, so this will be okay. So I'm going to let this simmer down a little bit. Let that cook up a little. 
cook up, cook down, however you want to call it. All right, guys, so I think this is about ready. So what I'm going to do is I am going to add my tomato, well, my mixture of tomato sauce, is it tomato sauce, garlic, scallions, um, red pepper, and uh, scotch bonnet pepper. So this is one cup. That's the one cup, too. I like to do four. I don't know what the recipe calls for, but. chunk it's pieces of celery that I put inside of the um chicken stock that I didn't realize that I should have pureed so this is three cup okay I might be on something this might be just enough you guys I don't know how to this is my first time making Paul boil rice too This could be full. And then I have a little bit extra. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add that. So that's part of that. Now I don't know, you know, how long it take for the um ball rice to cook. So I know I have to let this simmer inside of a pot for a little bit. So I'm gonna let this simmer inside of a pot. I'm gonna let it do what it do for a few. And then I be back. Oh shoot, that's the wrong top, Lord. That's for the other pot. All right, so I'm gonna add this top right here, which is the correct top. Let me just check up in this pot and see what's going on with it. Oh yeah, that's boiling. That's nice. So that's boiling nice. So what we're gonna do is we're going to add the bay leaf. We got one bay leaf, right? And then we have the chicken flavor. Now they have other seasonings, but I wasn't able to get that kind of stuff. So I just add like what I have. The chicken seasoning, which is like the flavored chicken bouillon. And then we want to add the Maggie, the Maggie cubes. So we add the Maggie cubes. And I see these are a big ones. So I think I might only need one. I'm not sure. Ooh, this is like, ooh, soft. Wash my hands off. That's so weird. Yeah. Okay. So I'm gonna wash my hands off. I'm done being dramatic. <laughs> so I'm gonna stir that up. I'm gonna turn this down because that uh which one called tomato stuff is popping, honey. You add little teeny bit of salt just a little bit that's it you can always add more salt if you like <clears throat> now this is to a, it came to a boil or whatever so i'm gonna add my rice because it's boiling and things like that i'll add the rice i already washed the rice off so i'm gonna take the rice and i'll add it on pray for me guys i hope this turns out right Cause I tried it one time before and it didn't go, it didn't go too well. So hopefully it turns out the way I want it to turn out. It look and taste the way that I want it to look and taste. Now I'm following the steps. Just because you follow those steps don't mean you want to get it like the professional. So I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna do it like how I make my rice. Well, I mean, I can't do it like how I make my rice, but you know. As far as measurements wise, I followed the measurement, the measurement guides for um, making rice. So I don't know how long the pulp or rice take to cook, but I do know a little something about regular white rice. So let's see. What I'm doing now, I'm just stirring it up because I mixed the seasonings and stuff in it. I'm debating if I want to add the other Maggie. I don't know. I don't think I should because I added salt and then I did the chicken flavor. Nah, I'll leave it out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave this here and I'm going to leave it go for a little while. And we will see what happens. 
So I'm just going to check on this and see what's going on with the rice. I want to stir it up a little bit to make sure it's not sticking to the bottom because you know it's the tomato sauce. Tomato sauce have tendency to stick it to the bottom of the pan. This is doing so good. Let me turn it down. Mm. Stir it up. Okay, guys, here we are. I finally got some rice that looked like jello rice, and it tastes so, so good. So what I did was I plated it. I fried a piece of salmon, and then I added some oh-so-good Brussels sprouts. Thank you guys for watching the video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe on your video. Let your girl know what you want me to try. I had so much fun making this video, and I'm so, so, so pleased with the outcome of this video. I hope you like it as well. Try my recipe and let me know what you think. Peace.